What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. All links will be in the description box below. Title of this video, She Cannot Be Not Me. Yeah, she can't not be me. Sorry. So, last night, there's a thing that Fox Soul had with, the, the, they call it the Queens panel. You know, Lisa Ray, Claudia Jordan, Vivica Fox, Selena Johnson. They brought on the brat, who's Lisa Ray's sister, if y'all didn't know that, to say happy birthday. And it went from her being looking shocked and semi-crying to her getting mean with her sister. It, this reminded me of something when I saw the clip at first and then I, I looked into it. It's like, I know I've met a lot of women like that who they just cannot not be mean. They can't not be mean. No matter what the scenario is. And the women kind of was like, you know, they they trying to, I mean, you maybe she's coming because of this, and maybe she's coming because of that. And Lisa Ray ain't trying to hear it because she's hearing things about her sister in the media that she doesn't know personally because they hadn't talked in months, right? And the first thing that, that I thought about was all four of those women do that. I think it just... When it happens with another woman, it becomes a problem. And the whole she came out thing, I think, adds another little layer to it because that's supposed to be the epitome of finding love and happiness somehow. But, so, in a sense, she was so mean, she ran down her parade, even when she was trying to say happy birthday. And then I looked at the comment section. I, well, I saw, you know, I didn't look at that comment section. I, I saw where, um, I think it was rolling out. I, look, I was looking in the comment section of, of that. And there were people who, oh, I understand, you know, with Lisa Ray, how she's hurt and she's this. And I'm like, see, this is why you wind up becoming older and lonely. Because you never check the aspect of your own personality that you can't stop being mean. And it doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter the person. It doesn't matter the day. It's always a reason to be mean and, and to be mean-spirited and to be upset. You can't be happy. You can't have a happy moment. Thus, the people around you can't be happy when they're around you. And they can't have a happy moment around you because you're always mean. That's your default setting. And I started thinking about it in the sense of, you know, the guys have been talking about this when it comes to, I guess, the dating aspect or the relationship aspect or the, the red pill perspective, however you want, MGTOW, however you want to slice it, right? Dealing with a woman who just can't be nice. It's always something. And this idea that somebody's always going through something, or, or, you know, you know, they got they got feelings, so because they feel like their feelings hurt, their reaction is to be mean, and now both parties are, are somehow responsible for that. No, they're not. They're not. As an adult, you need to control your emotions. And here's why I'm saying this. Because now it comes to the fact of you can't, you know, I'm just being real. You can't never be, when people say they're trying to be real, normally it means real mean. Because those same people who are trying to be real can't be real and nice. It's just it's very difficult for them. You know, it's always got to be, you know, some type of um, disrespect. How you, shade or, or animosity. You can't just have a moment, even if you don't like a person or you don't like something about a person, you, you got to wear it on your face. 
You got to wear your heart out on your sleeve. And see, the problem with that is that ide that ask that action that ideology that turns into that action those same people don't like it when people are mean to them they don't understand where it came from they don't understand you know those same people don't understand why people avoid them you don't understand where it came from and let me let me let me say the difference with this there's two types of people who considered me the type who's just mean all the time and can't and can't be happy and the type that's mean because you've done something repeatedly so now they're they're mean with you as an individual i get those th those two different types i'm not talking about that person i'm talking about the person who's just mean because they're mean to everybody the minute something changes they get mean with somebody they can somehow revert back to a memory and become mean all again. They live, they live on that. They feed off of that. You could be having a conversation with, with them about something you think they've moved on from, and then they get mean again. They just... <laughs> People get tired of dealing with that. You know, that's the ultimate issue about this. People get tired of dealing with that. Men get tired of dealing with it. And then women get tired of dealing with it. And then children get tired of dealing with it. And they grow up to become adults and they get away from you. Because you're mean. And you can't not be mean. And I've, I, like I said, I've known and I know and have known numerous women like that. Just because, you know, and let's be honest about this. Even when they dress up like a lady, they can't be a lady. Because they, they're so mean-spirited, they just can't do it. They can't be feminine because they're too mean to be feminine. It's always, you know, it's always an argument brewing, a confrontation brewing, a conflict brewing. And then you start wondering, okay, this is why this person's alone, alone and nobody deals with them because... Of this aspect of their personality. Oh, you know, this person, the, the relationships didn't work out. See, you start to see, yeah, I can see why the relationships didn't work out. Because they're mean. Now, ultimately, people like to, you know, and when I said I looked at the comment section, I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and lie to you and say there weren't people in the comment section, like, no, she just being mean. There were women who said that that's just mean. Because there's a certain amount of decorum you got to have when you're in public. And this is the thing about those mean people. They have no decorum in public because they're being real. I'm real. You act a real fool every time you get an opportunity. You don't know how to be real and grow up and act like an adult. So now, let me fast forward to the end of this conversation, where she was like, you know, we gonna, we, you know, I love her. That's my sister. You know, we good. We gonna always be good. That's the problem when you don't know how to not be mean. You good. You say you gonna be good. You say you gonna be all good. You say you say you gonna be all good. You say that you two are gonna be all good. You're speaking for the other person because for somehow some some belief in your mind says, oh, you know, I can keep being this way to them and we're going to always be good because we're just supposed to be family. We're just supposed to be friends. We're just supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be in a relationship. It's just going to, we're supposed to be husband and wife. So it's going to work out. No, people get tired of that. People can move on with their life because if you don't know how to not be mean, Nobody has to sit there and take your punishment. And see, people think about, you know, this is what men and men are abusive. No, normally this is why men walk away from people. Because they're this mean all the time. And you're seeing a glimpse of it with that clip. So, I'm done with this one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.